Hello everyone, we are back with Glen Velvet Reviews. Um, so, I'm going to do my first water change today. It's been uh, a month and a half, pretty much, that I had this tank set up. Um, and I put a shrimp in there, I put a food source in there for the bacteria. I used the back, the, um, you know, the booster stuff, I microbacters, whatever that's called. It's in here. Let me see. I got this stuff. Microbacter starter. I got this stuff. I also got the buyer spire that I'm going to use as well. But this is the stuff that I got. Oh, it's not that. Alexa, turn on kitchen. Okay. Um, so yeah, they got this stuff like this. Boom, boom. Okay. So I got that. I've been using that and it works. And it works. I mean, it seems like it works. It speeds up your, uh, your time that you are doing your cycle. So. I put that in, I have, it's been like a month and a half, like I said, I have no ammonia, no nitrites or nitrates, I have zero, but I think in a saltwater reef, you're supposed to aim for a little bit more, but my readings are telling me I have zero. So you might have to, you know, figure out what to do with that. Um, I also, I don't know, this might be a bad idea, but I haven't turned on my protein skimmer or my um, carbon um, filter yet. Uh, I turned them off right when I put in the shrimp and the bacteria because I didn't want it to suck everything out of the, you know, suck the bacteria out of the water that I put in because, you know, stuff's expensive and I didn't want to, um, you know, use the protein skimmer. They recommend not using it for a couple days, you know, maybe a week, but I kept mine off for like a month and a half now. I have no nitro and I've been, like I said, I have the shrimp in there and uh, I've been feeding with, um, you know, doing ghost feeding with, um, frozen uh, food and I put that in there just a couple times not not a lot probably like maybe twice a week like it's not like I did it like a lot or anything and I use half a cube um just to get some more you know food for the bacteria in there and help it grow um and I see pink you know pink shades of color uh on the Fiji rock first before the Marco rock I guess that takes a little bit longer um my calcium is off the charts I need to figure that out or see if my calcium checker just sucks. So I need to probably get another, um, probably get another calcium checker. Yeah, I'm going to have to get another one and then we'll do a review on that. But right now I have the HANA one and um, <clears throat> the HANA one is, um, what's it called? The HANA one is a pain in the butt and it seems like it's off by a lot if you clean it really well, so I can't really recommend that. So anyway, I'm gonna do a water change today. That's just a little update on uh, the reef tank of what I'm doing. I'll show you how I'm gonna do that water change. Like I said, I got my hose running already. I disconnected that. I made um, I made separate ones. This one, I cut the size, I used the Dremel, and I cut this to size. I cut it like 18 inches for my uh, 40 gallon breeder. And it seems like it's just going to make it. So I made that and uh, quick connect. So this way you connect it. And then I also made this thingy majiggy right here. This is to get in the tight spaces. Check it out. So I, since they don't have an adapter, um, Python doesn't have an adapter, I had to go build something. So I built this and uh, it works looks nice and tight. It's going to suck out all in the tight spaces and it's connected to the quick connect. So this way it's going to suck it right out with when I use the 50 foot hose and I hook up the, you know, the water line to it, it's going to work perfect. So these are just little uh, things that I made. It looks pretty cool. Give you guys an idea. Then uh, maybe you can make something of yourself. Um, like I said, because they don't have adapters for the siphon that hooks up to the sink for 50 foot. They don't have the adapter. All you can get is two inch from what I saw. So I needed one inch to fit, you know, in my crevices and all that other tight spaces over there. So that's my Calcwasser. <clears throat> Calcwasser, it's uh, been about 24 hours. I usually let it sit for like 36 hours and then I'll fill up my uh, my tub with my Calcwasser. That's been helping me with my pH because my pH has been like 7.8. And then ever since I've been using Calcwasser, I've been getting, you know, like 8.0. It went as high as 8.2, then came down to 8.0. Um, that's been nothing in the tank. You know, I'm just trying to keep my parameters up to help the coralline algae grow is what my plan is so and that's it just want to give you guys an update and an idea I'll give you guys an idea of what I'm doing uh, maybe you guys can get an idea uh, get some ideas and make some of your own uh, 
little gadgets that you can use. I got my AccuDrip. I got to do a review on this as well next time. Um, I got that in the, in the, in the mail uh, a couple days ago. So I'm going to use that for my invertebrates because I plan to get invertebrates soon. Uh, like I said, it's been a month and a half and I plan to get invertebrates probably next week. So it's, like I said, it's been about, yeah, so I plan to get them next week. That's why I'm going to do the water change today and then probably do another water change before I get them. Uh, just to make sure that the, you know, because my water is yellow, I could tell because I didn't have the carbon running or the protein skimmer. Um, but like I said, I'm going to do the, I'm going to do that today. And then um, I should probably turn the protein skimmer on and stuff today too as well. Get back into the parameters of what I'm going to be using, you know. Um, on the other channels, they recommend using, you know, uh, the uh, the bacteria again after like two, three months. So I'm probably going to use the bacteria right before I get fish. So right before I get fish, then I'll start using the bacteria via Spira. That'll be my second choice because the, you know, I used the other one the first time that I just showed that I showed you before. So I use that. All right. So that's it. Just a little update. There's my light, my little hangers that I made too. Um, have a great one. Uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm always putting on uh, videos and updates and hopefully giving you guys ideas and comment below always. I really do appreciate comments. Um, any ideas, always comment below. That would be helpful because I'm new to the hobby and I'm just trying to help everyone else out and what they're starting with as well. All right. Enjoy. Bye-bye.